I am here with uh, Joe Powers of uh, Tesla Motors and uh, we're just uh, enjoying this uh, new uh, vehicle coming out, uh, the Tesla uh, Roadster and uh, just looking at it and I wanted to get a couple of impressions here from uh, directly from uh, one of the uh, Tesla representatives. Uh, as people have been uh, touring today, uh, they've been uh, checking out the different features and so forth. In fact, uh, some of the people I understand have even uh, uh, have even put in orders for this uh, for this thing. So this uh, may be the one of the first times they're getting a chance to see it out in the out in the sunlight. What have been uh, some of some of the reactions uh, to uh, to this kind of uh, uh, technology and, and putting it into uh, such a beautiful uh, automobile? Yeah. Well, you can imagine that at a conference like this, um, focus on technology. Mm -hmm. This is obviously, you know, a, a big piece of uh, the technology marketplace right now, and, and especially, you know, we are positioned in Silicon Valley where mm -hmm. there's a lot of innovation in the space, and historically, you know, a, a, a spot that's been in kind of computers and, and, and power electronics for um, applications like that, we bring it to a car, and it suddenly has this excitement value that Absolutely. is increased, and you can you can see the beautiful styling. It really makes people excited. And, Absolutely. You know, here at the conference, we've had, like you said, people who have already reserved the car come up and you know talk about their experiences, and um, people that we've recognized who mm -hmm. have visited us in San Carlos at our headquarters there. Yeah. So it's uh, it's garnered quite a bit of attention. Absolutely. I could even see people here from the street coming in, and we had one guy from a local Navy base. It looks like yep. who was into. Uh, to check it out and had a good amount of information already on it. Yeah, he uh, was a, he was an expert. Absolutely. Now, what are what are the some of some of the um, from a, from a technology standpoint? What are the uh, what are what are some of the uh, the aspects that makes this car that much uh, more more interesting from uh, you know moving into the next generation of uh, of vehicles? What are th some of the things that sets this uh, car aside? Sure. Well, first of all, it combines efficiency with performance. Mm -hmm. So the. The, one of the biggest wow factors of this car is that it goes from zero to 60 miles an hour and in four seconds flat. Wow. So it's an incredible acceleration. And then it also has an equivalent of about 135 miles per gallon. Wow. And, and obviously the car uses no gasoline. So that's, a, that's an equivalency factor, but that gives you an idea of the efficiency of the drivetrain. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's very much um, kind of a, a figurehead for what the new technology can afford. And as we're moving into this age of kind of post um, post-traditional uh, transportation, I think mm -hmm. it's definitely kind of lead the charge in alternative fuel vehicles. Yeah. And it's pretty, from the research that we've done and from the car that we've created, we've come to the conclusion that battery electric vehicles are really mm -hmm. the end game. Yep. So we're, we're pretty excited with what oh, we've created here. There goes the trunk too. <laughs> <laughs> so what are, uh, what are some of the future developments for, for Tesla as a whole? What are uh, new uh, new products, new uh, new features, and so forth. Uh, is this, uh, this is this the only uh, this the only offering, or uh? so this is yeah this is currently um, the only model that Tesla Motors makes. Um, it actually hasn't come to production yet. Okay. Production begins later this year. Okay. And we'll deliver somewhere between 600 and 800 vehicles in 2008. Wow. Looking forward into the future, we already are in the concept design phase for a 2008 sorry, a 2010 model year car, which will be delivered in 2009, okay. starting at between 10 and 13,000 vehicles per year. Okay. And that's, so that's when we really hit the, the mass market, if you will, increasing volume, and that's, that car comes in at a, a decreased price point. Okay. So you know, the greater vision is that we get everybody driving electric vehicles, and this, this is our halo car proving that the technology is here, it's better than the alternative of what mm -hmm. we're driving currently, Absolutely. And, and that we're really on to something. We well, talked about one of the wow factors, too, and, and, and I think I've read something along the, the lines of uh, the cost uh, cost per mile is uh, is uh, almost uh, almost nothing compared to uh, to regular uh, um, gas powered automobiles. Right. Uh, what is the what is the the average uh, um, gas cost I guess or, or consumption cost sure. per, per mile? Well, depending on what you're paying for kilowatt hour prices, it's somewhere between two and three dollars for the equivalent of a tank of gas. So wow. essentially, you can drive 200 plus miles on, on two, two three dollars. Wow. Yeah, so it's and you're, and you're taking advantage of off-peak rates. That's one of the great things about the practice of this car is that you charge it like you do a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And if you're drawing electricity at night, you get to take advantage of those off-peak rates. Absolutely. And a lot of utilities have special rates for charging EVs even, so even lower rates. Um, you know, we've seen rates as low as a penny a mile to drive, so it's, it's That's amazing. It's it all depends on what power grid you're on, I guess, uh, where, yep. you live in the, where you live in the country. Yep. Well, that's very exciting. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And thank you for, uh, for sharing, uh, sitting in this, in this beautiful vehicle. This awesome. is very cool. It's my pleasure. That's it for us. We're going to head back in again. Thank you.